Hey everyone, Jason Shepard of M08.com here. This week's video post I'm so excited about because it's something I get to share with you guys that you can read about in the books all you want, you can calculate it all you want, but it doesn't really apply to you get out there and actually experience it. What I'm talking about this week is density altitude. Um, when I went flying across America with Vincent, we uh, really got first-hand knowledge of what density altitude was all about out in the desert. And it was so crucial we were able to calculate that. And I find more and more too many students don't really understand how to use a density altitude chart. So as a part of this video, if you're on M0A.com watching it right now, there's a density altitude chart right below. And I'm going to go ahead and show you how to use that and what that means for you and your airplane. Remember, density altitude is where the airplane feels like it's at. Even though it's just sitting right there on the ground, it may already feel like it's at three, four, five thousand 5,000 feet. So let's go ahead and I'll show you how to use this density altitude chart. And then when you get done, leave me a comment. I really want to hear about your experiences with density altitude or uh, how you calculate your density altitude as there's many ways other than just this chart, whether it be the flight computer or there's a lot of calculations we can use as well. I'd love to talk about those and hear what you guys are doing out there in your flight training and throughout your certificate and beyond. So uh, hey, let's go ahead and take a look at uh, how to use that chart. Okay, so this here is our density altitude chart. Now, before we do anything with our density altitude chart, we need to figure out our pressure altitude. This chart makes it so easy for us because it is all right over here. All we need to know is our altimeter setting. And then we can come across and get a rough estimate of our pressure altitude. So let's say our uh, altimeter is 28.80, okay? We'd come across to a pressure altitude of 1,053 feet. Do not forget to add your field elevation to this when we're calculating density altitude. Okay, so it'd be 1,253. Knowing that, we can come down to the base of this and we need to find our temperature. And this is the outside air temperature in degrees Celsius. Now, if you're doing this for your aircraft on the surface, that'll be on the surface. If you're doing it for your airplane aloft, you need to be thinking and looking at the winds aloft to get those temperatures aloft. All right. So let's say, let's say it's 32 degrees Celsius and we said 1,253, we'll call it 1,250. All right. We're going to take our 32, 32 degrees Celsius, and we're going to ride that line straight up so we get to a pressure altitude of 1,250. So we'll take that across. Here's the sea level line. Here's 1,000. And I bet you 1,200 somewhere roughly right around in here. Now we're going to take that and we're going to follow it straight across. And we come out with a density altitude of, gosh, just above 3,500, maybe 3,600. And you can see this over here is the approximate density altitude in thousands of feet. So you see how we did that. We calculated our pressure altitude and added the field elevation or add the altitude that you're at. Then we find the temperature. You take the temperature and you ride the temperature straight up, whatever your temperature may be, straight up till you get to your pressure altitude. Then once you reach that pressure altitude, you take that line straight across to get your density altitude. And this chart is going to be available. If you guys are watching this on M0A.com right now, and I hope you are, um, leave me a comment below. But also below this is this chart that you can download, print out, keep it in your flight bag, you know, tape it to the back of your kneeboard. Um, in a binder just somewhere important with you so you can do your density altitude stuff on the fly. I want to hear what you guys have to say. Um, did you like this method? Um, is there another method you use? What are some of your experiences maybe flying with density altitude, preferably high density altitude. Go ahead and leave me a comment below this video. And if you're on m0a.com making that comment, you know you will hear back from me personally. So guys, uh, we'll leave it at that. And hey, remember, a good pilot is always learning. Have a great day, guys. See ya.